Hello, hello, this is Casual Ace Gaming. Welcome back to Stray. End of the episode where all these robots were terrified of us, and this guy basically told them to stop cowering, cowering in fear. You look lost, what do you need? Uh, postcard. Picture of the outside, ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. So you called the outside a myth, and then you know about some people called the outsiders. What? They're all gone now except for Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in the building with the orange neon sign. You're pointing somewhere. I can't actually see. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> the camera just shows me. So I have to break my arm, break my neck, trying to look around. One to ask B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. True. It's a bunch of sleepy robots. I want to meet one of you. you. Really thought you'd take the elevator? never seen that thing work and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Happy birthday. Such a beautiful dream. But a shame it's just a dream. Okay. Angela. Why go up there? There's nothing up there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Okay, I guess we gotta go talk to Momo. Go find Momo. How do I get to Momo? Hey guys. Q. Oh, I can claw the crap out of this door too. Or not. What? Oh, I'm scratching to go in. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? No. Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. Translate. Oh, there's a sign here. Super Spirit. So only English over there. Barterman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Shouldn't get too lost, hopefully. I can space to jump. More translate. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Siuba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. The Guardian is the guy that we talked to at the beginning of the episode. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. What? Soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. That's depressing. It's very pretty. It would be so nice if it were real. Y'all are doubters. Absolute doubters. I want to jump in this bucket. What is happening? I'm going to get away from that. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Can I not get up there? Anywhere? Jump up here, maybe? Probably not. Okay. Walk past the broken bucket again, I guess. I regret my life decisions. What? Q. <laughs> take empty... Oh, take energy drink speeds. 2k. What did I do? Why is my flashlight on? That was weird. What? Oh, I can click to turn on my flashlight. 
remember. R.I.P. Humans, lesson three. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? This is too existential for me. I know it's silly coming for me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Yeah, okay. Just casual gameplay here. Hey, you're creepy looking. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to him. I didn't mean to trip him. Can I not talk to you? Okay, just. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I was not expecting that. I was just here. Okay, so I went in a circle then. Hey, you're peeking out from the corner. Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again or else Cosmo will be ticked off. Hey, you want a drink? I think it's not thirsty. I tried. Oh, I can't go up there. Who's Cosmo? That name sounds familiar. Hello. You do look a little like a Zerk. What is a Zerk? It's from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. Oh, those bug things. Those are called Zerks, apparently. Hey, I got a postcard. Is that the outside the Momo keeps talking about? Where is that orange neon sign? I can't see anything. Okay, so it's over there. I don't have any idea how to get up there. See, the one fault that I have when it comes to playing games is I tend to just look down at my feet. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. It's bad for gameplay, but I do. And so you put things in high spaces like this and I get lost easy. Knock over a chair. I'm gonna knock over a bottle. Hello. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Q. See the meow. Oh. <laughs> I distracted. Oh, that was the one that was yelling about the paint buckets. Right. Oh, that was Cosma. Okay, I'm catching up. I'm slow, but I got it. I'm sorry. Oops. Can I jump down? I had a prompt. Meow. Oh, I didn't want to jump here. Oh, I did, but I meant to jump on the other thing first. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh, I do leave little footprints. That's cute. You had a light up thing? You were lighting up orange. I thought you needed me to talk to you. Okay. What do you do in here? I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Super spirit, 100% spirit power. I like how some things are in English and some things are not. <clears throat> Knock everything down. Meow. 
I why can't I not get onto the floor? There we go. Super spirits. 100% what? Take super spirit detergent. Hooray for thievery. Can I climb in? No. Robot oil. Best oil on the market. Oh, I keep accidentally clicking. I don't... That clock has 16 numbers. Cool reflections. I don't think I can do anything in here. I don't know what the point of that was. I was just over here. Okay, so getting to Momo. <clears throat> I feel like I should be able to get up to Momo from here. Or something. There we go. Space. There's another vending machine. I'm gonna get all the energy drinks. I'm gonna be hopped up on Mountain Dew. Cool. <laughs> I like how the music changed right when I picked that up. Here we go. Can we get up here? Yes. This is actually kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I knocked it over. Oh, I can jump up here, maybe? I saw a prompt somewhere. Where were you? Here we go. I mean, the prompts pop-up thing is kind of weird, busted. But it's not too bad. I like the uh, large exploration of this. That's a massive wall. They got billboards up there, really? It just looks like a massive structure and I love it. What, did I click again probably? Yeah, I did. Now there's something about like really giant buildings in games like this in the background just hovering ominously I like that oh I was already here that's where I was supposed to go okay I see people probably screaming at me can I jump yes hey Momo I have a picture of the outside please help me escape what was that sound That's a way to get back down. Go up to the neon sign. Oh, what? Oh my god, my heart dropped. I was expecting to go up, but I went down. It was like missing a step when you're walking down the stairs. Can I not get up there? Oh, I can go in through here, maybe? Please? Hello? Have we tried turning it off and turning it on again? He's got like a Hawaiian shirt lab coat. Outsiders. Seriously, the music in this game is amazing. Absolute vibe in moment. Anyway. It's never gonna work. 
My dad lets him go. I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? It's a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yes. But don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will only bring me loneliness and despair. It's what everybody seems to tell me. My friends had this room too, but now they're all gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. Try to contact them, but that bleeped transceiver doesn't work. It's okay, you can say fucking. My friends and I took notes of our research outside about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Almost notebook, one out of four. It's got like a creepy looking sad face on it. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Okay. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside to any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters, touch grass, stay away from Zerks, etc. It's signed Clementine. You expect me to read that name. Zbaltazar? Sure. Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. There's other notebooks. Around here? The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. Oh. The city has a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. So it's walled and roofed. Okay. I feel like that's important. 8801. Okay, so when the prompt pops up, that's what changes on the backpack. I see. That's why it lit up earlier. <laughs> sure. What? <laughs> My controls are... Okay, that's enough of this. Please, help. Help me. Help. Please. Okay. Hey, it's a carpet I can ruin. Carpet is ruined. Okay. Knocked it over. Who the hell is that? Creepy looking. Can I get down? What's in here? Made in China. Men's socks made made in China. Sheet music. One of eight. I can't see. Okay. Stare at my cat's butt, apparently. Uh, examine. I can't read any of that. I can kind of read the music a little bit. It has a B and E flat starting out. A flat, C. Hmm. Nope, that's not how you leave. There we go. What? This is Petite Vols. I would love to hear that played. I would love to hear it played too. Can I scratch the door? No. I can scratch the door here. The symbol on the wall matches the one out of the notebook. Oh, that symbol on the wall. Seems like a lead. 
It sure does. Here we go. Can I get over there? There's another bucket. Where does that go? It goes down. It's a door. Music player. I don't think it plays sheet music though. I just flung that model. <laughs> Something about breaking things in this game as a cat. A lot of fun. Oh, hello. Back into the computer. Oh, Clementine's notebook. This is uh, Clementine. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is a going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down there in a place called Midtown. And apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. <coughs> I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Other notebooks. Doc and... Salt, Zaltabar, Zanzibar. This gave me a prompt earlier. Why? Oh, <laughs> I can hop up on the cushion. Okay. I don't see any other... Oh, I see a sign up there. And it looks like a sign behind the grating on the side of the building. How do I get over there? I don't know if this is the right way. How far down does that go? That goes all the way to the ground floor. Okay. I can get out early. Hello. Axe. I don't know how to get up there, though. Is that space, probably? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you're the one that saw some paint cans. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Wasn't me. Can't prove it. Wow. You know, Superman jumps. That's sketchy. Um... I don't know how to get in. Oh, wait. Translate. Ventilation power supply. That sounds appropriate. Drink some more water. I don't think this has any actual purpose, but... I can be cute doing it, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, knocked over the boxes. 
Knocked over the boxes again. Nope, oh, there's something in them. I... I don't know what I did to that box. I'm just having fun knocking over things. That's all I need out of life. I can't cue to knock that over though. What? I tried to pick up the book earlier. I assumed that was the book, but it wouldn't let me, so I assumed not. I'll take it. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. What's with the camera being weird? Okay, so how do I get out? I can't navigate now that I knocked everything over. <laughs> this box is tripping out. Q. Ruined the curtain. Oh. Oh, that's clever. That's actually very clever. I like that. Okay. Can I jump? Can I? Oh, I can jump down. Oh, that's a long way down. Red means evil. I don't like that. Oh, sparklies. Remember. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Got like little groupings of memories. I don't know if that's important to anything. Press one to ask Beto for help. I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. Okay. Who are you? I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. I have songs. I have a sheet music anyway. Show item. Petite Vols. Q. Oh my god. This is adorable. <laughs> I can still meow on the cutscene. I'm singing. Okay. I wonder if you uh, get anything for giving him all eight of the sheet musics. I can jump up here, but no further. Okay. I saw a Q on this thing. What is this? Oh, it's a bag. I don't want to do that again. More energy drinks. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I have... Two of them now? Three of them? One, two, three. Oh, I keep pushing E. I'm so used to Minecraft's inventory weirdness. I keep wanting to press E to close my inventory. Hello. I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much, now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water, and look how big they get. Really is amazing technology. I mean, 
some plants can still survive off of small light like this, so... This sounds kind of eerie down here. I don't know. Watch a cable. I'm the merchant of the market. Give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. Set of electric cable, the best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. I have one of those, actually. I don't understand the purpose of trading detergent for cables, but sure. I feel like that's important later. It's an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Cause you three energy drink. Okay, so that's what the energy drinks are for. I can't do less. I have one. There you go. Remember. Oh, it's like a memory. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Cute. Inspect sheet music. Music sheet, masterpiece, masterful piece of art of a renowned artist. Cost you one energy drink yet. Ah, uh, okay. I don't have any more energy drink cans. What else you got here? The marketplace. I assumed so. Okay. I need to get another energy drink can and grab that. I don't know why, but I need it. This game has some weird sounds in it. Q. Q. <laughs> He's got a little heart. All this weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. Door? Oh, that door. Well, that's it. In the streets, and the next day, the Zerks have consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. That's horrifying. Can I get up here? Nope. I wanted to jump on the table. <laughs> okay. Hello. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. I don't know why I thought the Cantina Band from Star Wars was playing in the background for a second. It kind of has that vibe to it. Anyway, it's a few years old, but it's something to read. Okay. I think I'm supposed to be looking for a notebook. Music's loud. Vibes, though. Okay. Jump up here. Hello, you seem friendly. You're new around here, what can I do for you? I have a bunch of notebooks and a electric cable. You want some cable? Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. Oh! I can take it to Grandma. I think uh, I saw a sign for Grandma earlier. Hello. Can I not talk to you? I guess he's knocked out. Been drinking. I find this stereotypical and offensive. Uh, not super effective, is it?
I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going for this last one. I think Doc is the other one. I have Clementine and Zabaltazar. I feel like I'm going the wrong way for sure. Yeah, there's that obnoxious sound again. Translate. Oh, this is Grandma. Oh, she wasn't here when I first came into town because she ran away. I... Okay. Hello, do you have any electric cables? I do. Thank you. I'll get to work right away. Cool, thank you. Uh... Cutscene? No, we just get the item. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Okay. Uh... Should it be 12? Probably not. This looks really warm, perfect for a cold robot. Oh, okay. I don't put it on. Nope, I... Yeah, I, I know, I know. Please. Hey, you look kind of cold. I can't talk to any of them. Bar. Oh, is that where I just was? Was the bar? Teddy? Oh, I already talked to you before. I'm guessing that I could view all of the places from... Momo's place. So let's get back over to Momo's place. How do I get there again? Okay, so I've already been inside that one. That was the first one I visited. I'm guessing there's one over here somewhere. If we're going across... Oh, there is right over there. Please walk, thank you. I assume I want to do that. Yes, and I come up here. Okay. I'm just sneak in really quick. Oh, this is a very cozy looking place. Am I going to claw the crap out of this couch? I absolutely am. Magnificent. jump on every single book pile. He's dead. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. That's legitimately depressing. Spent literally the rest of his life reading that book. Why are all the calendars staying October 11th? Jump up on all the books. Oh, there's a room behind here. It's fun. Translate. Hey, Doc. Found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just a librarian. We got some keys. What do you mean hidden behind some books? Everything is books. Literally everything is books. Unless it's back here. I see it. Okay. So you like have to actually knock everything over. And keys. What's in there? Notebook. The last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. These books are vibing. 
After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. <laughs> I must have to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Show me what we found. I can't remember how to get out. I remember now. Back to clawing the crap out of furniture. What cats do best, and the controller fell off my lap. Should be fine as long as there's no, uh, Zerk chase scenes. Hey, guy, I found some notebooks. Hey, little cat, you still looking for those useless notebooks? No, I've already found them all. That's my notebook. My bad. You find Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know? She was the most fearless person I've ever met. That's a Baltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. I mean, we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine, to Baltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I will promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find a way, find you a way up. Now let's fist this piece of junk transceiver. Agreed. Anything to get out of here. Et voila! It works! Come with me. Where are we going? Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. Our friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Zerg chase sequence coming up, it sounds like. That building up there, it looks like. That the camera is kind of trying to focus on. Knock it down. Had to get my controller off the floor. If there's gonna be a Zerk chase sequence. No, I don't wanna go up there, I don't think. I got turned around when I looked away to get my controller. <coughs> Rooftops. Oh, okay, I see. Well, as much of a cliffhanger as it might be, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I've been recording for 45 minutes. But it looks like it's gonna be a lot of action-packed craziness happening at the start of the next episode, so that should be fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. This game is absolutely fun. Uh, if you like it, feel free to drop a like, feel free to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. I do read all the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. My cat's just chilling. <laughs>